Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can withdraw money from Binance to your bank account. And this is a process that is quite complex sometimes and it was always changing because regulations surrounding Binance and rules seem to always be changing as well. But for now, this is the way if you're in the UK or surrounding areas that you can withdraw money from Binance. So log on and head over to the wallet tab at the bottom right hand corner refresh the page and you'll see all of the crypto that you own. All of the crypto will have a number next to it, that is your balance. Now on the spot section, scroll up, it'll say deposit, withdraw, transfer. We want to select withdraw. Now once we select this, it'll say crypto or cash. We then want to select, in this case, if we're withdrawing to our bank, cash because we're looking to take cash out of Binance and into our, uh, into our bank. Then once we're on the cash section, it will say your USDT balance. Now for me, this is $13 at the moment. Uh, and tap that because USDT is a stable coin and it's often pegged to USD. Again, do your own research into stable coins, but select that. And then it will take you to a withdraw USD page. Now in this time, for some reason, it's now collated my US dollar balance. Um, and my Binance US dollar balance as well. So you can see in total in stable coins relative to the US dollar, I have 38.4 uh, or $82. So I select withdraw and then it takes me to a separate uh, section of the app and it's got P2P Express Bank Transfer. So the only one that I can select is Express. Now what I actually need to do in order to be able to withdraw my US dollar tether or you know the coins we just said is I actually need to transfer over from my spot to my funding all of my US dollar tether balance. Um, and so what I'm doing right here is confirming over a transfer, as you can see right here, of $34.94 from my spot to my uh, express balance. And then I'm able to withdraw that money. As you can see right here, confirm sale. Uh, and you can see that I've got two ways I can withdraw it, Revolut or via bank transfer. So I haven't added either, but you'll notice in both the occasions, in order to withdraw the money, the exchange rate's actually about 4 to 5% worse than it is in reality. Um, so Revolut, for example, for every US dollar, I get 74p and same for bank transfer. If you wanted to proceed with that, you could then go on to add uh, your details and then continue to uh, transfer the money over from Binance to your bank account. However, one thing I would say is that in my personal opinion, if you're transferring over a large sum of money, because you are losing about 5% due to the exchange rate difference because you can't withdraw directly to the bank, it used to be that you can withdraw um, for a pound fee all of your money out to your bank or whatever it was, I believe. However, regulation has changed that. But what I would say is that in many ways, you are probably better off, for example, creating a, a crypto.com app account, then transferring all of your crypto from Binance to uh, the crypto.com app. So for example, if you, you sent it over to the crypto.com app, then you used to sell uh, the crypto on the crypto.com app and withdraw it to your bank directly. Because the exchange rate on the crypto.com app when you withdraw is close to what it is in reality, you're not paying a 5% surplus uh, or 5% tax essentially, withdraw tax. You'd then be getting 5% more for your money. Now, let's say that about 1% of that 5% extra you're getting goes in, you know, transfer fees or whatever that is. If you're transferring a lot of money, you're going to be more uh, better off transferring money out of Binance to then withdraw from a different app. So I hope that makes sense. If you'd like more details on this, because I think Binance and uh, withdrawing from Binance is quite complicated, then please do leave a comment. But on screen right here, if you haven't created a crypto.com account, there is going to be my referral link in the description down below, where if you sign up, you get $25 in free crypto, um, just a cool little bonus they offer. And then I, uh, then you transfer over your money to crypto.com and then withdraw it like that. Now for me, I have both accounts already. If I was looking to liquidate all of my crypto and withdraw it to my bank, I definitely wouldn't accept the kind of 5% tax on the exchange rate for withdrawing on Binance at the moment. Uh, I would definitely send it all over in one crypto to my other uh, broker crypto.com and then withdraw it from that because it would make a big difference, especially if you're transferring large sums. So again, this is quite a... Um, a confusing process. I think that due to the regulation changes and uh, struggles, withdrawing to your bank from Binance always seems to be a changing process, but please let me know if this has helped. Uh, any questions down below, please do let me know. I'm not a financial advisor. This is never financial advice. Uh, please only do whatever you feel comfortable with, and this information may change over time. So thank you very much.